Nicholas for two. Successful Clipper. Two shots. All right, you think about Nick Batum. He had to deal with so many injuries. You forget how complete a player he is when healthy. He showed just how important he can be for an elite team. And, and Batum brings length and a versatile game to his spot on the wing. And, and his defense, always a big asset for this team. He's the kind of player that everybody needs to have out there. Kind of how many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's George. And George with the stuff. Well, you love how Paul George finishes on the drive. That is a powerful dunker right there. Here's Batum. Nicholas. And he puts in the lane off the glass. Count it. Batum's got the lead up to nine now for the Clippers. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. From Reggie Jackson. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Now here's Jackson. 11 points last game. Pass to Hartenstein. To the inside. A shot by Batum. No good. Clippers trail by seven. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws. Of course, you look at Marcus Morris, a very solid three and D type of forward. That's exactly right, because think about it. Morris, early in his career, there was a reluctance to shoot the range shot. He was more mid-range guy. But credit him for putting in the work. Now Marcus is a deadly three-point shooter, and he brings a size and physicality on the defensive end. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Paul George has taken some heat in recent years. He says people get so caught up in what other folks think. I'm Paul George. I don't care to be anybody else. I am who I am. You love it or you don't. Simple as that. The guys with his player on the floor, he has answered all of Two minutes experience. remain in the first half. He's certainly playing at an elite level. EA, thank you. He beats uh, Zubats for two. And that one is good from Zubats. And they keep hammering away out of its side. Uh, forcing the ball into the ring. Luke 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 a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better fit. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big time play. Luke Kennard entered the league with a long history of success, both in the high school and collegiate levels. And this is a guy who I think still has a high ceiling. Clippers trail by eight. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Off target from outside. And for Kennard, he was a step down player at a very early age. Well, you can look no further at the state of Ohio and the scoring records he put up. Kennard outscored LeBron James's high school numbers. He has that kind of game where he can just take over with his shooting. Now, here's Kennard. Following the miss by Marcus Morris. Over Jackson. And the layup is good. Marcus Morris. He has six. Four, two. Well, that's just stellar concentration from the talented forward. Marcus Morris effective at keeping his balance on these tough, tough finishes. Now, here's George. He's got 12. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the second violation. And the Clippers making a switch here. Clippers substitution. Clippers trail by six. Forty seconds left to play here in the half. Driving the lane. And the rejection by Zubats. Kennard for three. up a three. Kennard with the rebound. 
It's Jackson with the drive. Foul. And he gets the whistle. Two Ball free throws goal. coming up. That's, his That's first a smart play. Ball. Jackson will keep going back. He knows he'll make it to the rim. Get fouled. The line or maybe both. Jackson hits both of them. And here is Los Angeles now. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. And so we conclude the first half. Clippers ahead.